going on, y'all? Sing Piper here, a.k.a. Black Native. I'm feeling real good today, but I want to know how you doing. Good? All things working for your good? That's good, man. All things working for mine as well. Thanks for asking. Today's video, I'm just going to bring something for y'all attention. I don't know if you noticed it already, but there's like propaganda and programming, especially when it comes to food and what eating and what should be eaten and what's good and what's not good, what's available, what's not available, what's legal and what's illegal, depending on where you live, what state, what country, what name, what nation, right? All right. One thing I want y'all to pay attention to is how they market and advertise certain foods more than others at different times. So, you know, in the early, earlier, right, you could just eat anything, basically, like beef, chicken, fish, and, you know, I'm not, I was born in 1995, so, like, from that time on, you could eat any, any of those things, like, no one of those things was more promoted than the other, it was just, it was just, like, a sense of abundance, like, no one felt like there was any form of scarcity towards that, if, in my eyes, right, again, I'm, I live in New Orleans, so we eat all of that, eat everything, but, in fast food, it was mostly about beef with the propaganda, like the Wampa, the Big Mac, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat beef, eat beef, right? Uh, every time, you know, every they have a, a chicken sandwich here, you know, a little this there. But it was really mostly about that, um, with the fast food. But, you know, it's no secret that, you know, the farmers have been coming out saying that they've been getting shut down or, or, or bought out and... Uh, the, the cows are, are being, like, slaughtered. The animals are being slaughtered. Not in a way to, like, give more meat to us, but, like, the, the beef farms are being shut down. Some people say, you know, Bill Gates, right? Uh, it's like, the guy behind that, buying up the farms, you know, being able to manipulate the meals that people consume, when they can consume it, you know, be, being in control, uh, that's basically what is the word around town, you know what I'm saying, right? So beef is becoming scarce, and beef, like, the at Wendy's, if you go to Wendy's, they run out of beef. Sometimes it's, like, crazy. How, how can you run out of meat? You go to these different places, they run out of meat. But, like, the question is, like, if a, 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 a company like the Wendy's company, right, fast food, if they running out of meat, but McDonald's never run out of meat, how is that possible? Like that's 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 just something to think about. Like, okay, if it's about consumption and about, so what are you eating when you go to certain places? That's a that's a big question to me. So everybody knows McDonald's meat is not real. Like, so but people still eat that. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, I went to I went to the Burger King down here, uh, around, around my area. They didn't have no beef at a, uh, a few days, and it's like that's weird. When you go into some of the markets, they don't have like steaks, they don't have like beef and all of that. Even if you're just looking, like they don't have it, and it's like that's weird, right? So the propaganda got that out of the way. Then they came with the chicken sandwiches, right? The chicken sandwiches went hard. They went ham, right? It was a battle between Chick-fil-A and Popeye's. Now you see even KFC had a donut chicken sandwich. It's like people went crazy with that. It was like a fad. But my point is, after that, I started seeing shortages in the fast food, like, industry. Like, when I, when I'm, when if, like, if I go order a chicken sandwich, like, in the last month, they were out of it. They were they were out of it. It was like how y'all out of how how y'all out of meat, how y'all out of chicken. And it's seeming like they're targeting certain certain proteins, like certain meals, right? And they're letting you know which one they're going to be trying to make scarce. So now if you look at it, it's fish. Everybody got a fish sandwich. Try this fish. Like if you look at uh, advertisement right now for food is going to be about seafood. It's going to be about fish. Even places that have no business serving fish. Popeye's got a fish sandwich. Why? Why do you have that? That's not, I don't even feel comfortable seeing that at Popeye's. Like, 
first of all, your fish, if if the fish place ain't close to a river or lake, any kind of body of water, you need to know something's up. That's not, come on, man, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. This is in the middle of a big city, a big inner city, and you're telling me you got fresh, delicious fish. Come on, man, that don't make sense. I bet there are going to be shortages on fish. And then if you look at the bill that I think Joe Biden was trying to pass him and the Democrats a few, you know, I think a few months ago when, when Trump stopped it, when he pointed out all of the money that, that they were trying to get and none of it was going to the Americans, it was mostly going uh, abroad to other countries, right? Some of it was to literally kill fish in the, in the Gulf of Mexico. Some of it was to kill fish in the Gulf of Mexico. Why? Why would you put money towards that, one, because that's stupid. Like, the Gulf of Mexico is a huge body of water. And two, why is that even on your agenda? Why do you want to kill fish? If we're in a food shortage, why would you want to kill fish? You seem to got too many people on the planet. Why would you want to kill the fish? To kill the people? Because that's what the people eat. So you... So you're trying to kill the people. But it's like they're dropping hints of a food shortage or, like, of scarcity. They want you to think. It's not even about what's real. They want It's about what you feel, create, and help them to manifest. See, if they could help you, if they could present a picture of, oh, we don't have enough food, you could feel like, oh, we don't have enough food, and you can help them create, we don't have enough food. It's not that these things already exist. It's that they, they need your brain power. I learned something about the different nations of the world, and every nation has a superpower, and every nation has something they need to be stronger at. The powers that be don't really have the power to manifest, but they have the greatest power to manipulate. You need to know the difference. If you don't know the difference, go check out my video, Manipulation, Master Manipulator versus Master Manifestor. They don't have the ability to, ability to manifest. The ability to manifest is to bring what's in, within to what to, to the environment, to what to without. So from within to without, that's what manifesting is. It's to display what's inside. It's to present what you have. It's to create. Manipulate is to handle, control. You know what I'm saying? To to contain, to to operate. Like that's what manipulation means. So you got to see what's going on. It's not about what's real. Everything is, is programming you. Fortnite is teaching you to fight one another. If there's a scarcity, fight for it. Instead of saying, look, let's get together. We are, we one people. Like, let's just build another civilization. They don't want you to think like that. Call of Duty now, Battle Royale, fight for it. Like, why? Why do we have to fight over resources? They want you to believe that resources are limited it's not it's not have you ever seen the edge of the world you've never seen the edge of the planet have you there ain't no edge to this planet everything's forever everything is eternal everything is growing you gotta know that you gotta know that think about this people are getting bigger and bigger and bigger right think about this these children that are being born are getting huge right think about this on some stuff An animal, whether this is like a four-legged beast or a fish, can only grow as, as as big as its environment and resources. That's a fact. So as we're expanding and growing, it makes sense that our environment is expanding and growing and producing what we need. We're thriving. So despite what people are uh, what they're trying to manipulate you to believe so you can create it. They want you to do all of the work for them. They want you to say, okay, I feel like there's scarcity because I couldn't get ribs today at Walmart. Oh, I feel like there's scarcity because Wendy's ran out of chicken nuggets. People was running out of chicken nuggets. Right? But it's manipulation. They're going to shut down farms or they're going to let you, they're going to tell you that they're shutting down farms, whether they are or not, right? They're going to put out propaganda to let you know that there's scarcity. Then they're going to make you feel it, think about it, imagine it, and create scarcity. 
and, and, and drought and shortages on food and famines and war and limited resources. And that's a poor mindset. When you believe that there's not enough for everybody, you're already poor. That's why I don't really want any of my children to play sports like I play sports. I play sports, and that was my life. But somebody got to win and somebody got to lose. That's not life. That's not real. That's just what they want you to believe. Everybody can win. Everybody can have more than enough. See, that's even programming you right there to look at your brother. When he get a blessing, you say, man, I wish that was me. Or feel some type of way like, man, he don't deserve that. Or I work harder than him. It's not a competition. Like, you know, it's not about that. That's programming you. You don't, no one has to lose. No one has to lose. No one has to win. We all can win. That's true. That's that's a true fact. But I'm telling y'all, next they're going to be talking about the fish. When you go to these places, we out of fish. They want that to happen. They want that to keep playing in your head. We out of this. We don't have this. We out of this. We ran out. That's not enough. It's not enough. That's all they want you to think. But that's more than enough. I live in Louisiana. That's a canal everywhere you look. And in every canal, there's fish and turtles. And some of them have eels and snakes. Like, you got to understand, there's no sh such thing as a shortage on this planet. It's just what you know is food and which, what you can actually go get. Like, bro, you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't let them control your brain to tell you that's not enough. When they tell you that's not enough, you think they tell themselves that? No, they don't tell themselves that. Why would they? That's because it's a lie. They don't want to believe that. They don't want to be believe that. Whatever you think, you're going to create, like, in one way or another. In one degree or another, you're going to create what you believe. For real, you're going to live it. You're going to experience it. That's going to be your perspective. I know people say, oh, that's just your perspective. Your perspective is 100% of your reality. Like, when people say that, they don't understand what they're saying. But for real, like, I just noticed that. First, they was promoting beef. Beef went out. They're just letting you know what, what they're trying to short out or what they want you to short out. First, it was beef. Boom. You can't get no beef when you go to the, to, to the restaurant. Then it was chicken. Oh, we didn't get a shipment in today. Oh, we ran out of chicken. We didn't get a shipment in today. We don't know when we're going to get the next one. That's what, that's another thing they're going to hit you with. Oh, we don't know when we can get some more. Like, it's an indefinite shortage. Like, you just, oh, my God, we might be out forever. they like, that's how they like to play with your mind. And then they come in and eat. they promoting a the fish sandwich right now. I'm telling you, they're going to be saying we all have a shortage of fish. It's like they might be sending a call between one another. Like, you don't, you don't have to it's like whatever they make popular, that's on the itinerary. Like they have an itinerary, like a global itinerary. Like, okay, look, this is the code, y'all. When y'all see commercials for a bunch of beef sandwiches, that's what we taking out. All right, we took that out. Now y'all see a commercial saying all about chicken and all these different chicken sandwiches and the chicken battle and the chicken is trendy. That means we're running out of chicken. We're going to take that off the map. Oh, look, we're doing fish now. Look. When you see all these fish ones, then you know we in phase phase fish. If we in phase fish, guess what? We're gonna be running out of fish soon. We taking the fish away from everybody. We cutting down on fish. We cutting down on these foods. So look, they gonna be out of here in a little bit. Everybody gonna starve out. Look, we gonna we gonna have more than enough for us. All right, we killing everybody that we don't want to be on this planet no more through food shortages, right? And we gonna make them create it with their imagination. Because we don't got the power to do that. But we're going to make them create it with their minds. Because that's really what it's all about. You got me? Got you. Good. Secret society. Secret society. Perfect. It's like, it's really, it's simple. Like, people look at it like it's just this big, huge thing. It's, it's not. It's simple. Anybody could run it. Anybody could do these things. All right. And this channel not about secret societies. But I just want, I want y'all, I'm, train, I'm training y'all to see patterns, to see outside outside you don't want to be in it you can't see nothing when you're in it step outside and see the patterns like so next time if they talk about everybody doing a pork sandwich or barbecue pull pork sandwich and pull this and barbecue that and then you could bet your bottom dollar 
that they are on phase four. All right, man. I love y'all. And veganism is good, but they also doing propaganda to make you do veganism because it's a lot easier to genetically engineer vegetables than real life animals. So think about that. Like, veganism is good, but they can take all of the benefits from vegetables and fruit a lot easier than they can take it from the animals. Animals don't have as much in the first place because they got to get it from plants. But the plants are genetically modified. And it's a lot easier to do that process than it is to do the process of of changing an animal. It is. Trust me. It is. So even veganism, why do you think they're promoting it so much? Yeah, if we New Age, it's good, to, it's good to be vegan if you're eating real food. Most people live in the inner cities. Like, you think you're getting the best of the best? Your bananas don't have seeds in it. If your food, your grapes don't have seeds in it. Your watermelons don't have seeds in it. Like, they're doing their best to make you operate at the lowest possible capacity. I'm serious. So that's why they promote veganism. And when you see these different sandwiches or different popular foods coming out at these fast food restaurants and they're putting it in commercials, putting it in your face, that's what they're taking away from you. That's what they're modifying, right? So after the fish thing go out, guess what? They didn't modify the fish you're eating. You're not eating fish no more. That's what they're letting you know. So the beef name came, went out and came back, that's a good chance that that's not the same beef. It's, it's different now. The fish, the chicken, been had it, had its big run and it's coming back. It's not as popular no more. And guess what? That's not even chicken. That's probably not even chicken. I'm not trying to rant too long. I'm just, I'm telling y'all what, what I see. If you agree with it, you agree with it. If you don't, you don't. I don't care either way. But I'm telling you what I see from a black native perspective. Most of the people on this planet don't matter. I love y'all. Later.